all right, all right, Baron. You can come with me into town. It's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, Pooch. Yeah, over here. Bring that crate over here, too. Yep, perfect. I think that's the last of the milk and eggs. I gotta get into town before noon, so I, I gotta go. Oh, oh, sweetheart, no, no. I understand. I know the full moon is coming up again in a couple nights, and that can make you a little uh, tense. You're more comfortable here. Don't you worry about it one little bit. I'll be back later. You just keep an eye on the house. I'll have Baron with me. <laughs> just go for your run to help burn off some steam. <laughs> good, good. Alright, you know the drill. I'll be back later. Hopefully before dark and all that. Alright. What? What? what so something on my face or something? Oh, well, get it. Oh. <laughs> So it was you on my face then, huh? <laughs> Something to tie me over until I get back? Well, thank you. I'll expect another one as soon as I do. Good. I'll bring back something special for dinner. See you soon, Pooch. Well, it took you long enough to get another shipment out. I know, Hugo. My shipments take a while, but it's only two people on my farm. At least it's faster than it had been in a while. Yeah, yeah. You know Rockwell relies on all the farmland it's got. But little it does have. Maybe you ought to try and get a little more help or something. <laughs> and the cat doesn't count. <sighs> Yes, Hugo, I do know that. Can you give me the gold for my shipment now, or are we still going to continue this delightful banter we got going back and forth? Because me and you have had a good few conversations before now, and I gotta say, this one is not one of your finest. Huh. <laughs> I don't know how that farmhand you got can put up with that snarky mouth of yours. I don't know. I think a woman with a quick wit is rather charming. <laughs> At least some people get it. <laughs> hmm. I didn't ask you nothing, stranger. <laughs> Come on, Hugo. Don't be so rude. <sighs> no worries. I did speak unprompted. <laughs> Not only that, your new face. I'm Delilah. This is Baron. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> He doesn't like some folks. He'll bite you as soon as you look at you sometimes. Mm. Hateful, stupid cat. Uh, but, uh, anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Ezekiel. Just Ezekiel. Pleasure to meet you as well, Delilah. There you go. Now, take your coin and get your uppity self going. A pleasure as always, Hugo. So, uh, Ezekiel, what are you up to this fine day? Oh, I'm just passing through. I just had to take a moment to stop and admire your sweet little town. Well, that's a fair choice. We do have a nice little place. I'd be happy to show you around the market before I head home. I gotta get a few things anyways, and my parents taught me a good bit of hospitality. I can see they sure have. It would be my honor to join you. So... What things are on your list to grab, Miss Delilah? <laughs> well, my partner and I like to have a nice steak dinner on sale days as a treat for our hard work. So, that and a few things to go with it. <laughs> oh, nice. Sounds like you two do a lot of work and could use the treat. Rockwell's farms are highly important, after all. <laughs> yeah, we work hard. But it's worth it. Mm, these look good. So, where are you heading, if you're just passing through? Oh, I was heading down to Gramherg. Dumrick was a small detour on the way, but I had to make the stop regardless. I'm glad I did. Met a lot of interesting folks here. You included, ma'am. Oh, well, ain't that kind of you to say, Mr. Ezekiel. It's always nice to make good company. 
What you doing down in Gramherg, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I was looking for a friend of mine that I heard came down this way. Just been a while since I saw them, and I wanted to catch up. I understand how that can be. I hope you find them soon. Is there something I can do to help you? <laughs> That's very kind of you, Delilah. But I think I'll manage for now. Though, I'll keep you in mind if that changes. Oh, of course. Uh, I run the farm around the hill to the east. Can't miss it once you're around the hill. Thank you. For now, I have a few things to get myself from this delightful market you've shown me around. Have a wonderful day, Miss Delilah. <laughs> you as well, Mr. Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting stranger. <sighs> All right, Baron, Duchess. Let's get our shopping done. And Hold on a minute there, Delilah. Connor's here. Wants to talk to you about your produce. Uh, Connor? What is he doing all the way down here? <sighs> Alright, I'm coming. Pooch! Hey, Pooch! Hey, Pooch, I'm back. Saw I'm late, but I found some nice steaks for us today. I'm gonna put them in the cold box for now. I'm sorry it took me a while to get back. Hugo stopped me to talk to Connor. Came all the way down to discuss some more traders he knows wanting to support our farm. It sounds like a good deal. Weird. Usually they'd come walking in by now. Yeah, I don't know, Baron. Uh, Pooch? Sweetheart, are you there? Uh, hello? Are <laughs> uh, you in the bath? No, Baron. Where's Pooch? They don't usually just leave without saying something. I guess they could still be on a run. Outside. Well, yeah, but I didn't see them there. I guess they're still running, but I'll, I'll see. Stay inside, Baron. Pooch, you out here somewhere? <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Hello there, Miss Delilah. Uh, Ezekiel, uh, um, I, I did. Did you change your mind? I I'm sorry, but I, I can't really. Shush, shush. Don't worry. Why don't we take a walk? What? A, a walk? N no, I... I can't. I have to do something. <laughs> to find your beloved little pooch. Who are you? What, what did you do to them? Why, it's me, Miss Delilah. Ezekiel. Can't you tell? You're in the moonlight. What did you do with Pooch? No need to yell. I don't know where they are either. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know where they are, Miss Delilah. What do you, what do you want? Don't come closer. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, there is something I need from you. And it has to do with your Pooch. Oh. Why? What do you... What do you want with them? They took something from me. After I trusted them. Made a lot of people very upset. <laughs> no. You need to leave. No. Don't move. Pooch! Uh, damn it.
I told you not to run. There you are. Bad time to go for a late night run. This yours. Pooch! Can't do that, little Pooch. You see, you owe me quite a lot after you ran off with a few months worth of merchandise. At first, I plan to simply take you back with me. Or kill you here. But now, I'm thinking something a little more interesting. Butch, <laughs> I, I don't understand. What did our friend here tell you about their life before showing up? A lost little puppy on your doorstep. Let me guess. Not much. <laughs> Perhaps you should have pushed a little more. Your little pooch used to be a part of my pack. Your, your pack? And this one had a problem with how I ran my pack. My own beta disagreed with the orders I gave. And they tried to free what we worked hard to capture. What, what do you... Isn't that right, little pooch? <sighs> well, you certainly found yourself a good little farm girl here. Look at her, thinking she can do anything to help you, even as she's pinned here against my chest. <laughs> Perhaps she will be happy to know the plans I have no longer include killing you. <laughs> you both look relieved. Don't get ahead of yourselves. You see, your little pooch took a lot from me. So I need to cause some pain to take back from them so they understand that you don't fuck with me and get away with it. Unfortunately, my old beta I no longer want you. out into the mud. Might want to get that looked at. If you're lucky, she might live. Or maybe not so lucky. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>